how did you decide on the people that you were going to direct mail to? Well, last year when I did it, it was all about the realtors. We want to align ourselves with realtors because realtors really are the true professionals in the industry along with us. Uh, and we wanted to let them know last year, hey, we're not your competitor. We're here to compliment you. Uh, and so and so we want to align ourselves with those guys because they really know the market. They have their finger on the pulse of the market. And so what we tell the realtors is, hey, if you guys have a deal that doesn't fit the traditional listing criteria, the seller doesn't have enough equity to hire you. They don't have enough time for traditional sale. There's too many repairs. There's an impending foreclosure, problem properties, pocket listings, whatever kicks it out of the traditional listing agreement. Keep us in mind. Refer us. Matter of fact, let us show you the six different creative ways that we can buy so that you can gain confidence that we will possibly go, go in and be able to make an offer that makes dollar and cent sense to all parties. So instead of wishing the seller well, whenever they can't hire you, now you can extend your services to them by referring to us and we write you a check for that. So I was able to obtain a list of the top 20 producing real estate agents in our area, our 50 mile geographical radius. And so I mailed one out to every one of those guys, plus our service providers, plus private lenders we're doing business with, private lenders we're currently talking with, our professional team, and just, you know, anyone and everyone that we could think of that may be a mutual benefit of attending the event, we sent an invitation. Wow, that's, that's phenomenal. And I, I love the fact that it was direct mail because so much gets lost in spam and email and all that sort of thing. So you, you really showed the intention, you know, that the, it was a very strong intention, the fact that you direct mailed it and the fact that you mailed it three times, it sounds like. The announcement, then the follow-up with the uh, tickets, right? Was that mailed? Well, well yeah, well, I, I, actually I, I mentioned two, but there are three. Uh, about two and a half months out, we sent a postcard just to the realtors, just to the 188 realtors, which represent the top 20% producing realtors. Then we sent out uh, the, an announcement and the flyer. Those two went out together. I said that wrong earlier. And then the third one was the actual ticket to the event. Okay. So, yeah, we hit, we hit them three times. Of course, the postcards, we didn't have the stuff. We just put a stamp on them. But everything else, we stuffed. And so we bought roughly 750 stamps, 250 postcard and about 500 regular stamps. But I mean, when you, when you get a deal, 175,000 in private lending and an opportunity to go on TV and promote the business, it's worth whatever money yes. we spend. And of course, our, our suppliers spend it on our behalf. You, you look at the ROI on just that one <laughs> subject two deal. Lord have mercy. Subject two and how that's going to pay you hundreds of thousands of dollars over the next, over the life of that deal. Exactly. Yeah. Just yeah. Absolutely love it. And this is exactly, uh, guys, take notes. I mean, why not? Why not do this? Because you're really connecting to the, to and with the community in a much more profound way than just one on one individually. But to actually have the synergy of having everyone in the room and the power of that is just incredible. And think about it. If you've been in business, you've got relationships with all sorts of folks. You know, go to your phone, look at how many real estate agents you already have in your phone. Look at how many lenders you already have in your phone. Look at how many plumbers, electricians, heating and air conditioning. You, you've got these connections. And if they're serious about their business and expanding their business, they're going to want to definitely participate in this. And you're just asking, simply asking them for a sponsorship is already an honor, right? Because you're honoring them with that opportunity to be a co-sponsor of the event. And uh, so I just love the fact that you raised all the money to do it with as well. <laughs> and, and you didn't have to come out of pocket. And so far since the event, 175 grand in private money plus a uh, subject to deal. And that's just a week out from the event. That's just, you know, uh, and, and the 14 weeks of the live, you know, TV loving, loving, living local. I'll look forward to sharing that with you guys as we start producing those. Definitely. Definitely. I want to see that for sure. Yes, well, sir. Roger, uh, you're just an inspiration as usual. You've Thank always you. got great things to share and just uh, just phenomenal case studies and everything that you're doing. I say, keep up the great work, my friend. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you.